Good afternoon, everybody. I know it's been a while since I recorded a video or sent a newsletter, but wow, where did the summer go? I um, went to Florida a couple of times, had some vacation time, and um, had, to, had to do some repairing and get my diet and everything tuned in for um, the medication that I'm on. So um, I am finally feeling human and guess what? Out of the three days I chose to record, the sun has finally come out on this day. So I am feeling very blessed with sunshine and cool weather, which is great. And now the leaves are starting to change and now we're starting to see a transition of a different kind, which it means it's fabulous fall and we need to get ourselves ready for fabulous fall. So to get ourselves ready, what I've done is I've, um, I've dropped a blog on my website, um, which I will include in this newsletter. Um, and it is all about getting ready for a seasonal transition. Um, so um, you can, for those of you that have a house or don't have a house, there are things in there to get ready for fall, whether it's a transition, for you for fall, your house for fall, or your your processes for fall. So I hope you enjoy that. Um, and my niece in California had a baby, so we were blessed to bring another baby into the family, which is very, very nice. Um, and I am now um, taking full-time care of Piper at my house um, at, for for however long she's here. And so that is keeping me, me busy, but it's also keeping me exercising because, you know, priority for me is um, my health and uh, my sustainability so that I can bring you sustainability. And I would hope that um, for anybody that you make yourself the sustainable choice of where you're going to spend your time and how you're going to spend your time and i hope you're getting out here in this beautiful fall weather if you happen to um, actually be in the new england area today is just a fabulously perfect day now um, and i also wanted to let you know that i have um full hardy started um preparing my book um, which I hope to have released next year on sustainable efforts that anybody can take. Um, it's making little sustainable actions as easy as turning on the light switch in your house. So um, make sure that you are getting your, while you are getting your house fall stuff done, that you've looked at yourself and said, have I gotten all of my medical things like your annual physical, your mammogram, or any of those things that need to be taken care of, taken care of. Because remember, uh, putting stuff off that is important like that um, can have a long-term effect that most of us don't want to deal with. So I hope that you are making yourself sustainable. And the last thing I wanted to make sure of is that for all of those things that um, you have to do. I found that um, I put even the smallest things on my calendar and my reminders to remind me to take my medication, to remind me, uh, did I do my stretching workout? Did I do my bedtime routine? I found that sleep, sleep uh, has been a very important friend of mine, although a very elusive friend of mine. So I feel like, you know, tuning in your sleep hygiene and your eating hygiene can be a great thing. And so um, I hope that all is well for you and that you are enjoying this fall weather and that um, you will re hopefully read my blog on sustainable things for um, welcoming autumn. I wish nothing but the best for you. Take care.